You think you know me. Sack with Rider P2. Uh, Sack. Ah, uh, my goodness. We there yet? Yes, but then gets move. Let's get moving. No way, you're not ready. You're still bleeding. Ah, uh, blood? This ain't no biggie to me. No, your wounds aren't fully healed. It could be fatal if they open up. I said that it's no big deal. No. Huh? Ray. What's wrong with your face? Zack? Zack? It's alright. He just passed out. He's still alive. But carrying him any further is just not in the cards. I can't very well stand, stand him up and make him walk. Not to mention the blood. Just stitches won't cut it. I gotta stop the bleeding and disinfect his wounds. I'll go check the check if there's any medicine somewhere on this floor. Zack, hang in there for a bit. I promise to make myself useful. So I hang just hang tight until then. I gotta hurry. Hello! Welcome back to episode 3. Actually, this is chapter 3, episode 3. The game says episode 3, but this is like episode 11 of this series that I'm doing. In the last chapter, we got through B4. And that took two hours. In that time, we jumped across some spikes, we... Almost got gassed to death. Uh, Zack almost got electrocuted to death, and Zack took some poison, which caused him to slice himself open because I refused to shoot him. And yep, here's the result: he's breathing, but shows no signs sign of waking up. So, this is B2, the second floor, and I'll be honest, I I knew the f first two chapters, I, I saw them before. Now on, I have no idea what's going to ans going on, so I'm most likely going to get a whole lot more game overs. Because I legit don't know what's <laughs> going to happen. I mean, I saw thing how chapter 2 was going to work but I didn't remember like exactly how to do it <laughs> for example in that gas room I didn't remember that you can scrub the wall uh, that uh, scrub a w piece of wall that uh, gave you a clue or I think it gave you something I can't remember anymore it's been a month since I've recorded that episode so hopefully I'll get this done before Spyro comes out next month
So yeah, we're playing this Ray now. Zack is down. We didn't get the introductions, which is kind of odd. Like the big Rachel Gardner thingy like we got in the last chapter. But oh well. It sounds like a pipe organ. The lights came on. This place gives me a weird vibe. Oh, so it's just me, but uh, Ray actually has more facial animations. Not looking. Oh. Uh oh. What? Smoke coming from an overturned candle. This smoke. It sort of has a sweet scent. What just happened? I spaced out for a second. No, enough more about that. I gotta hurry and find sex medicine. Oh, I think where this is going. I've seen this in TVs a lot. God desires the pure and sincere, hence I inquire what are two. A sacrifice, an angel. Or if thou art someone who seeks, seekest salvation from him, reveal all and repent. Repent. Confession booth, by the looks of it. Is that a confessional in front of me? So this place is... Salvation. Ah, it's still the same. Repent. This door, but it's closed. Bit thy name is written on the door center. I guess it need, needs my name here. You had the placard in the last four. Floor, you had the placard of yourself because you put Zack's in the wall. You still had yours. You threw it away. You could have used that. Also got a text message. So I'll just see who it's from and we'll move on. We'll see. Okay. There we go. Nothing important. Let's move on. Rachel Gardner. It opened. Makes sense. Being a conventional and all. Confessional. Can I go here then? No, that's closed. Alright. Uh, don't enter yet because I want to save. Already. Let's enter. I hope there's medicine in there. Here I go. Is it just me or... Is the sweet scent getting stronger? Maybe my mind's playing tricks on me. There's no way out? Oh no, but sex counting on me to find medicine for him. I gotta find a way out. Okay, shiny thing. Few doors. I gotta try the door first. Never mind, I guess I'm not gonna be trying that door first. I'm gonna try this door. Oh, it o that opens. A small vial lies atop a chair. A quiet vial. The insides. It's empty. Damn it. I suppose this is an ink vial. There's writing on the wall. Profess thy sins. Let the vial serve as testament. Then what, what dost thou feel upon reflection? A door to preserve thy defilement hath been opened. 
I just heard something unlock. What does it mean by professing my sins on Unto this file? Really? Really, Ray? It's kind of obvious. Well, this was already open, so I'm gonna check out here first. It's a mirror. There's nothing but a mirror here. No more text. Look well into thyself. Are th thou a sacrifice? Or the lost? Or are you a demon? All God desires is thine urinary self. Urinary self. What do you mean? Why the writing on the walls? That and is... That and is... Look well into thyself, referring to this mirror? My reflection is in the mirror. I can see my reflection. That's all. Art thou naive? Or simply deceiving thyself? This is the chamber of repentance. If thou wishest to leave this place, pick up thy shard and know thyself. It's shattered. A human figure is reflected in the mirror shard. My reflection from earlier is still cast in the mirror. What a bizarre mirror. But I better take this with me. Thy shard is probably referring to the shattered mirror. Not quite mirror shard. If there's nothing else here, then I gotta hurry and find a way out and search elsewhere. Mirrors are uh, scattered all over the floor. So we got mirror shard. You have, I guess, in my face. Vial fashion from class. If this is an empty vial and. I already have a feeling where this is going. But I'm just gonna check the items just in case. And that does nothing. Well, this was unlocked last time. Let's go here. I got the mirror shard. Why do I get the feeling that there's gotta be something red in that vial bottle very soon? Oh. Another mirror. Some some writing emerges emerge on the wall. Profess thy sin. If thy sign is unknown, rip it out from thee. Items from your inventory can be used in a specific location. Blah 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 blah. We already know. Give me the mirror shard. Ah, what the Really, game? Really? We're 15 minutes into the into this, and you're already make forcing me to save. Might as well say and say let's do. What is this place? There's no way out again. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be like empty inside, is am I? Right. There's writing. Are thy sins visible? What thou hast committed is blacked out. Hast thou erased thy sins? Or art thou unaware of thy sins? If thou hast lost sight of thy sins, fill it anew and accept those which flow out. Fill it anew and accept. Does it mean I should fill the vial that I have? You don't say so. Wait, what is... Oh, yeah, all right. The painting is a boy hurriedly running down the road of dusk. Uh, I'm gonna kind of do nothing. 
It's a painting of a snake? No. The painting decides a mount holding a hunting rifle and jet black and devoid of, of a painting. An empty black painting. Should I complete it with something? So, okay. What I can understand, this is arson. We probably were here for a reason in, in this building. And it did say our scene is like blacked out or something. So I feel like there we go. Yep, what's the knife committed is blacked out. So I get the feeling. Well, hold. If it's a man holding our hunting rifle. Now I'm figuring out all the three paintings. This makes most sense. Because Rachel saw her parent. Uh, uh, Rachel witnessed a murder. She has a handgun with her. So I'm kind of just connecting some dots. And man holding a hunting rifle is most likely what the game wants me to do. Or then it's gonna make me do everything. But this is the one that I'm going to take. Painting deciding a lamb came out of the rip came out of the rip in the painting. Lamb painting painting. The muscle of hunting rifle peeks out from the uh oh. I gotta touch it. That was close, that gunfire. My wire would have could have been shattered. Oh, you're not letting me save. I'm afraid to step in front of it. Deep. Place lamp painting. Uh, no, I don't think. Painting of a small lamb. Doesn't feel like it. I'm I'm gonna try that again, most likely going to die, I'm a bit afraid. Oh, it's just that. If I take uh Wait, am I supposed to take all of these? There's a thing I need to dodge. That's most likely the thing, so I'm gonna Early running down the road of at dusk. Let's rip that. Boy lets out a shriek as he falls down the whole grave by the rip. Oh, whoops. Can't fill this file with a scream. The painting designed a ram came out of the rip in the painting. Well, we got the ram. Like... Why do I get the feeling this snake one is going to kill me? The painting designed a e Iwi came out of the rip in the painting. Eve? Oh, yep. The came crawl out the rip in the painting. The snake's too big to fit into, into this vial. Oh, boy. Great. Didn't need a snake. Can you please get out of that corner? Rampating! Run! Maybe it's missing something else. Put, put everything there. Just quickly before the snake comes! The painting of a sheep family emerged within the frame. Pain is complete, yet nothing happens. If thou hast lost sight of thy sin, fulfill anew and accept those which flow out. Um. Uh oh, the eyes are dead again. Which means I need to damage this painting? What happened to your eyes? I guess I have to rip it. Red leak. Oh no. Yep, red liquid. Inside the vial. What just happened? I put the liquid in this vial? So now, what now? 
beats me. It doesn't look like medicine either. There's nothing of use here. I'll go back and have a look elsewhere. Let me save. Yes, it's vile. And it's there's red liquid. I, I knew there was going to be red liquid there. I just was expecting something else. Um. What? Oh, that's still broken as always. That is non-existent. Where did this door come from? A door? This wasn't here earlier. It shouldn't be here. Oh well. Now I can finally get out of here. Here I go. Whoa. It actually lagged a bit. It's so dark. This is gonna be hard to navigate, let alone search for sex medicine. Plus this place also has that sweet scent. Oh no, not the scent again. What's with this... this smell? It's sweet, yes, has a fishy odor to it. I'm spacing out again. The door's gone. Why does this happen whenever I'm in a hurry? Anyway, I gotta find my way out again. Jack's in trouble. Why is this lagging? Like it's completely dropped frames. Wait. Exactly, what? My footprints are bright red. This isn't my blood. But then whose is it? I legit can't see a path anywhere. It doesn't matter. This is no time to sit idly by. I gotta hurry and then sex wounds. Oh, found it, a door. I can hear music playing further inside. Go inside. Not sure how, how you're supposed... I guess why I'm supposed to just wander around? I just did that and I, I win, apparently. The sweet scent is getting stronger. Maybe it's the smell, but I'm starting to feel woozy. Yeah, definitely feel groggy. The pipe organ music. Where is it coming from? Let me say, because this is really creeping me out now. Well, there's the... this. The organ keys are playing music on their own. A picture of an angel adorns the pipe organ. Well, I'm guessing something to do with this book again. Why dost thou repent? Is thine heart which re repents for salvation genuine? Can, can thou concentrate, consecrate, consecrate thy sins to God? Yet, thine sins remain unseen in thine heart. If ye seek salvation, reveal thy sins here. Reveal, reveal thy sins here. None of this makes any sense to me. But I'll be safe if I do what it says. Does that mean I can get out of here? Oh, I thought I was gonna, you know, write it here. Maybe here. All right, something. I possess a vial of red ink. Soiling this picture would wrong. Maybe using this liquid will show my sins. So what, you want me to use it here? Oh, 
quiet down. My ears are head ache like crazy. Are we finally seeing why Rachel is here? No. What the? Uh. Huh? It's... A church. Are you too surprised? Because that's something you... You would have figured out. The organ's playing again. Who? Um. Who are you? Who are thou? Why dost thou hold the tongue? The question is, who are you? I am the preacher of this church. You may call me Grey. Yep. He's Grey, alright. Now, last time someone introduced themselves to us without being suspicious, I almost got my eyes ga gauged out, or just taken out. I almost lost my eyes. So. You don't look suspicious at all. A preacher? I believe it is now your turn. Rachel Gardner. Reverend, are you the resident of this floor? Very pleased. I suppose to you, I am resident of this place. Never fear, my child. I still have yet to determine your nature. Until I learn more about you, I shan't pass any sort of judgment. That's fine. Well then, what brings you here? I'm looking for something to stop bleeding. Hmm. A hemostat, is it? That is what that Zack fellow requires, is it not? That ri that's right. But how did you know that? Of course, I'm more familiar with them than anyone. Regret regrettably, there is nothing here for treating wounds. Such remedial items could only be found on B5 Daniel's floor. I am not going through all the previous floors just to get some medical equipment on B5. Oh no, then how do I get back below? You desire to return below? Yes. Such a wish should not pr prove arduous. Come and I shall see it through. Go with you? Yes, my child, I know the way. Can I trust you? My word is my bond. Yet, before we go, you must first pass a bit of a test. A test? It be not too toilsome task, my child. I merely desire to learn more about you. I seek not an immediate answer. Let your heart choose. I shall remain here for a while. 
So he's the only one who knows how to get back below. I'll go to check on Zack and see how he's doing. Yes, that's a good idea. Let's do that. But first, let's explore. There's a chair. There's some books. Nothing happens. This is... Still the same. I guess I'll go see Zack then. Oh, it is back here. Wait a minute. I passed through this place. But it sure feels like I may have skipped several rooms. You don't say. Something feels... Uh-oh. Zack. Shit. Ugh. Zack, hold still. Hey Ray, where'd you go? I was looking for something to stop your bleeding. What? By yourself? What the hell is wrong with you? I mean, I can't very well force you to move now, can I? Plus you were sound asleep. Idiot, just whack me till I get up then. I can't do that. Man, you're stubborn. And so, so, and so did you find anything? No. But if I go back down to B5, there sh should be medical supplies. Huh? Going back? Now? Yeah, but if I go... Zack, relax for one second in your life. Zip it, what am I, five years old? My psych's heavy as hell. This doesn't make a lick of sense. No, you rest. I'll go down below to get your medicine. Zack, you lie down and take it easy. Huh? Zack, you'll die. Your sight being heavy is your body telling that something's not right. Don't assume I'm a goner, got that? You know I would die so easily, right? But... Pretty please, Zack? Give me a chance to actually help you. Please? Don't think for a second that I'm gonna let you just because you said please. Please. I'll cave. Anyway, how, how are you gonna get down there? Uh, oh, uh... I'll manage. Can you really manage by yourself out there? Yeah. Fine. Right now I can't even carry my psych. Nice. No, I'm gonna say it's psych. It's probably not how you're supposed to pronounce it, but whatever. I'd probably just be extra baggage like this anyway. No. What else would I be then? But if you think you'll survive, then go for it. You're right, my stomach's killing me and I can't move. I'm gonna get some shut eye. Okay. Hey. While you're at it, hit B B6 too. Huh? B6 is where I first found you. I want you to bring me something from there. Got it. Can you... Could you not explain what you want me to bring? If I'm gonna go down to B6, at least tell me what I'm supposed to bring from there. But, nope. Zack's passed out again. With an injury like that, I don't blame him. I'll go see the preacher. I shouldn't wake him, he needs to say put, definitely. Oh, of course, yeah, of course the elevator isn't functioning, why would, would it be? Plus, it would just take me to, down to B3, that's all. 
All right, so this door is probably the one that's gonna get us out of here, like to the next floor. So, hi. Has thou come to a to a decision? I need to go back to B five to get some medicine. So I'll take your test. Hmm. So be it. Let us be off then. Okay. Oh, and do me a favor. Please don't do anything to Zack. Of course. Right, so... Ray actually cares about Zack. Like, a lot deeper than it, it's supposed to be. I mean, I... I know Zack promised to kill Ray once they are out of here, yada yada yada. She's making. She's making the. Uh, keeping her, her side of the bargain, not letting Zack die, and that so forth so forth. But I feel like it's. The connection is slightly deeper. I'm interested to see where this story goes. Why is it. I smell a sweet scent coming from him? Well, the test is coming up. It seems you felt compelled to keep me away from Zack. You needn't keep a watchful eye on me. No harm shall, shall come to him by my hand. By your hand? Hmm. Suspicious. Shall we get going, Rachel Gardner? <laughs>